I'm an artist who sometimes makes art with a computer. In order to do this, I had to learn about computer programming. I teach a beginning programming class at an art school and have decided to make some videos to share some basic knowledge that I have picked up over the years. Although there are many different computer languages, many of the basic ideas are shared by all of them. I will be using Flash and its language ActionScript 3.0 as a platform for these videos. Again, the concepts I will be sharing will apply to other computer languages such as JavaScript as well. Today I will be covering the sequential nature of code, syntax, data, data types, variables, values, and comments. Computer programming code is simply a detailed sequence of instructions written in a grammatical way. Just as the English language follows rules of grammar, computer languages have their own rules of grammar. These rules are called the syntax of a language and must be carefully obeyed. We'll get more into syntax later. The notion of the instructions following a sequence is very important. Each line of code is executed by the computer in the order that it is written. Sometimes the order of instructions doesn't make much difference. Sometimes it makes a huge difference, as this example will demonstrate. If I were telling someone how to get dressed, I could say, put on your shirt, put on your pants, or I could say, put on your pants, put on your shirt, and it really wouldn't matter. But if I were to say, put on your pants, put on your underwear, as opposed to put on your underwear, put on your pants, that would make a very big and important difference and have results that I think most people would find unacceptable. So sometimes the sequence of commands is extremely important. And remember, computers execute commands in the order that they're written. Computers only understand ones and zeros. The computer programming we write must be translated into something the computer can understand. Programs must be compiled in order for this translation to occur. Thankfully, Flash has a built-in compiler. The data that programs process comes in many types. The two most common types of data are numbers and strings. You know what a number is, but what's a string? A string is one or more characters that you can type on your keyboard. The letter C is a string, as is the word cat, or the sentence, I like dogs better than cats. Let's launch Flash and start a new ActionScript 3.0 file. There are a few things about Flash that you need to know to be able to do what we're going to be doing with this tutorial. If you look at the image with the little circle, that's called a blank keyframe, and that's where we're going to put our scripts. So right click on that, or if you have a Mac, control click on that little circle and pick actions. Type the word trace with parentheses after it. Trace is an example of a built-in flash function and we'll be getting into functions later. The basic concept is you can put information or data into the parentheses and flash will output that. Type a 2 inside the parentheses then go to control and test movie. This is going to create a shockwave file but it will also open up the output window and we'll be able to see a 2 displayed. Each time we do this make sure you close the window of the shockwave file. 2 is a number. If we replace the 2 with the word cat in quotation marks we're creating a string and if we test the movie we will see the word cat show up. 2 is a number but 2 in quotation marks is the character string for the number 2 and you'll see the difference very easily. 
the character string of 2 looks identical to the number 2. But look what happens when we trace the character string of 2 plus 3. It outputs 2 plus 3. If we remove the quotation marks, Flash now sees 2 plus 3 as a number. It does the calculation and gives you a 5. One of the most basic programming concepts is the idea of a variable. A variable is like a box that can contain only one item. The item in the box is called its value. You can take the value out of the variable at any time and put a different one in. That ability to change a variable's value is why it's got its name variable, which means changeable. Here we're creating a variable called myNum and we're giving it an initial value of 6. This is called initializing a variable. When we trace myNum, we get the value of myNum, which has been set at 6. In line 3, we say myNum equals 12. Notice we are not using the VAR keyword. You only use that the first time that you establish a variable. But in any event, in line 3, we're saying myNum equals 12. We're changing the value of myNum. When we trace it, we see its new value is 12. So variables have values, and the values can be easily changed. When you wish to create a variable for the very first time, use the var, var keyword. So you have var followed by the name that you come up with for your variable. And usually you're going to follow that name with an equal sign and give an initial value to your variable. So for instance, here I'm creating a variable for my favorite pet. There, my fav pet equals quotation marks dog. Dog is in quotation marks because it is a character string. Later, I may decide to change the value of my fav pet to something else. Since my fave pet already exists, I will not use the VAR keyword again, and I simply take the name of my variable, my fave pet, follow it with an equal sign, and have the new value. So I have my fave pet equals quotation marks bird. I've now changed the value of my fave pet. The final concept for this first episode is the notion of comments. Sometimes you may want to write a little note to yourself explaining what you're doing, and most computer languages allow you to do this. If you were to simply write something in English, a computer would see those words and be totally confused by it, and you'd get all sorts of error messages. But with Flash, if you put two slashes in front of what you're writing, then the computer will ignore that as a comment. It's a very valuable thing, and most programmers recommend commenting your code so you can kind of remember what you're trying to do.